let me just get this straight. I have I have a I have a house, right? I have equity in that house. I take a loan against the equity, right? I then rent that, and let's say my loan I'm paying you know $500 a month in a mortgage now. I go rent that out for $1,500 a month, so I'm now putting $1,000 in my pocket and I'm paying $500 to the mortgage. But then I take the money that I took out of that house and then I go buy something else where it's really cheap, I fix it up, and then I then rent that out and I just keep on doing that and every one that I do that with, I'm putting a little bit of money on my pocket. Get it guys? I'm gonna have to like quit my job. That's called right? leverage. That's, okay. But one pitfall. Okay, one pitfall. What happens when one of them stops paying rent? Kick their butts out. And, and you find someone else. And that takes how long? It depends. If it's coronavirus <laughs> time, it's a residential tenant, it could take two years. Now you have four mortgages, and if you add up three, even with the spread, you may not have enough to cover all four. So you really need to be saving your money when you bring it in. You need to check the leverage. You need to have a cushion. If you're just leveraging because you have some money and you want to borrow completely, yeah, they just borrow, lend on everything. That's called leverage. But if you want to have an asset and leverage off that asset, which is what I think the conversation today is, you need to have an asset that has no debt on it that you can take debt from or equity in it sufficient to go buy more.